Results of the girls' high jump. We had a large tie for fourth place. That involves Zoe Kirk from Dover, Maggie Hall from Exeter, Hayden Adams from Winnicunit, Natalie Dumas from Portsmouth, and Kirsten McKean from Timberlane. All those girls jumped four feet, five inches. We have a tie for second place. Olivia Buzzle and Maitri Clifford. Olivia is from Co Brown and Maitri is from Winnicunit. The winner of the girls high jump was Charlotte Kudalitis from Winnicunit. She had a jump of four foot seven. So the girls shot put and girls high jump. You can report to our awards table to pick up your awards. And also the winner of those events should report to the red tent for New Hampshire track and field .com for your interview. I think I'm going to be like a regular fill-in for them right now because I have enough guys in here. Yeah, I miss it. I, I miss it, but you know what? It's like, now my freaking knee hurts a lot. It's just like, you know, <laughs> probably. Probably. I gotta start, so said, so I gotta Frank start asked running. me to play with the new team because two guys can go for it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, so yeah. well, actually, it didn't have any help. Someone can go Outdoor, so full full length field. Half field. A half field. Playing across. Yep. Um, so it's, I mean, it's great. You know, you've got a lot of work. A little more than outdoor. I mean, indoor. A lot more. It's probably double. Really? Yeah. Even half field? Yeah. Lengthwise, it's probably about, it's similar. But it's so super wide. Seven on seven, including the goalie, or yeah, in the field? Seven on seven. Yeah. So six on six. They played <laughs> for the Indian, yeah, which I thought was kind of odd, but it's kind of like, like outdoor rules, no offsides, no, no real positions besides the rules. Thank you. Thank you. At the end of the game, so you want to be a regular, uh, regular cousin? <laughs> The following boys have qualified for the Javelin Finals. Jason Yeaton from Portsmouth. Ben McFarland from Portsmouth. Nate Fletcher from Portsmouth. Evan Venn from Portsmouth. Alexander Frost from Winnicunit. Isaac Lapointe from Spalding. Andrew Gagney from Spalding. And Ian Ireland from Exeter. Those boys have qualified for the Javelin Finals. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, 
title drop from the uh, middle of the game, the the So they, they both cleared the previous number. Uh, is, that, is, it, is it a draw then, or is it who would have cleared it first, or did it put the dead on time? No, well, not necessarily. Because what, how they did it in the state for the champions in the state, so whoever had, whoever didn't have as many misses. So leading up to that, we kind of had less misses. So I think essentially she comes in first. Oh. Okay. We're all leaning, learning. So yeah, yeah learning so I learned that last year. <laughs> <laughs> like we kind of came, she and her, she and her friend came together. We need to remove the hurdles from the track for the 100 meter trials. Let's move them to the inside of the track, please. All the hurdles to the inside of the track. Next up on the track is the boys' 100 meter trial, followed by the girls, and then we will roll into our regular meet order. We are 
ready for the boys pole vault. All boys competing in the pole vault, please report. She actually started with the 4 by 8 and she did a 4 by 8 But she came in in the 3 minutes. Her time. Dude, it's a 6 minute walk. It's nice, you know. Yeah. So, she was pissed at herself. So they did it. Really. So they jogged too much in the beginning and then she goes, I tried to pick it up at the beginning of her second lap. Picked it up in the air two months. The following athletes are in the finals for the hurdles. In the 100 meter hurdles, we will have Carolyn Weeks from Portsmouth, Ali Latilznik from St. Thomas, Charlotte Cousins from Oyster River, Sydney Lavelle from Exeter, Natalie Sicard from Co Brown, Rachel Poulin from Exeter, Mary Joy from Co Brown and Cassidy Von Saint from Summersworth. In the boys' 110 meter hurdle finals, we will have Ben Sorber from Exeter, Brady Hansen from Winnicunit, Ian Ireland from Exeter, Ian Rippergar from Portsmouth, Calvin Duffy from Winnicunit, Caden Giordani from Oyster River, Nicholas Cryosis from Portsmouth, and Jake Loverin from Portsmouth. Those are our finalists for the hurdles. You know what? Yeah, he parked in two spots. I had to. <laughs> this this truck is like two this truck is like eight feet <laughs> tall. If I, if, 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 the truck is taller than me. If I I got it so I can transport yep. kids around. No, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to unlock it. Hurt, if you heard your name for hurdle finals, you need to report to the infield to get a hip number. Hurdle finals. Come back to the infield to get a hip number.
she, she gets a 7-6 and she's going over the bar. Go, Luke. No, six inch. Oh yeah, we yeah, we, yeah. So because what happens is, well, it's not even just better for speeds, but sometimes that one. So the rest of the season, up till now, everybody's gone by six, zero or six, and now so now you're at one or seven. Eighty five, three, seventy three. Or breaking these two. She's got the perfect back. That is. You get any balls in yet? Two. This is correct. Yes, I should be able to. And when she did hit it, I punched her. They used everything for it. Yep. Somebody's taking it now. Hold it, hold it. How'd that feel? Not good. This year? Oh, God. I've never used that before. Right? I'm a yuppie now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. 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 Let's go.